Princeton University's basketball team is now back on campus this morning, but they'll have very little rest because they have another trip to head out on in just a few days, of course, to the Sweet 16. Our Howard Monroe is live on campus this morning as that team is unpacking. He was there when they arrived back on campus. How is it looking out there now, Howard? Well, Jan, I'm back uh, back to being alone out here. It was very quick when they got back here from Sacramento. They unloaded their bus. Now they're getting some rest and relaxation before heading back out to Louisville coming up later on this week. Now they unloaded the bus earlier this morning after getting back from Sacramento. Now it's a very underdog type story considering they are the 15th seed going into the tournament. They first beat Arizona and then last night they beat Missouri. This is the first time in the Sweet 16 in 50 six years. Another interesting fact, CBS Sports is reporting this team is the first Ivy League team to reach the Sweet 16 since Cornell did it back in 2010. We spoke with Coach Henderson and their forward when they returned. Well, this is a really special group. They're so deserving of everything that's coming their way and um, you know I, I think you know, we want to keep going. We're, we're on our way to Louisville on Friday and uh, we're excited about that. We always have uh, confidence and belief in ourselves that we can get it done. Uh, we know we're a great team. Like when we play at our best, we're hard to beat. So um, we, we were confident coming in. Now, their game in the Sweet 16, it isn't scheduled yet. They'll be playing the winner of tonight's Baylor Creighton game. That's at 7 10. However, Jan, the funny part about all of this is that as of right now, not only are they getting some rest, but they're also getting ready to go back to class. Despite this tournament happening, they still have class. Last week, when all this was going on, they were on spring break, but some of them said they have midterms scheduled for tomorrow morning. Jan, we'll send that it back is to you. So much pressure. <laughs> But at the end of the day, I right. guess they are still student athletes, and they're there at Princeton, so they have to go to class as well. No one's exempt. Absolutely. The smart ones. They smart are. and good. They are. Thanks, Howard. Appreciate it. Marsh Madness continues today here on CBS Philadelphia. Pitt and Xavier match up at 1210, followed by Kentucky versus Kansas State at 240. And it all wraps up with Michigan State and Marquette at 515.